Were the, any of these suggestions or were these all from the mind of Gabby? No, it was Gabby Logic. I need your help. <laughs> I need you, you, to give us suggestions because she needs help. <laughs> I will just be dessert and the worst of the trash. I need some <laughs> solid suggestions from all of Brazil, okay? Get this Voltron-minded person who tries to trash, 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 mm, at the end. <laughs> That's all I get. Hi, I'm Gabi. And I'm KD. I'm from Brazil. And I'm from the US. And today. I'm going to be reacting to more Brazilian food that I've never tried before. I'm really excited about that. We already have the first video and apparently, guys, you like it. So here you go, the part two. And I promise at some point, I'm gonna actually get to try this food in person next trip to Brazil. In fact, me too, because some of these foods, even me, I never tried. Okay, let's go. Every time I try to bring a type of food in different parts of Brazil. Like everybody know I'm from Brazil, but I grew up in Rio de Janeiro. So I try to don't bring always Rio de Janeiro food. So the first food is arroz com pequi. Arroz com pequi? Pequi. 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 Mm -hmm. According to the... <laughs> Some sites in English, they say arroz com pequi is a traditional Brazilian rice and fruit dish. Wait, and fruit? Pequi is a fruit. And look at the picture of the food first. Then I will show you how exactly pequi is. I never had pequi before. So pequi is the orange. Yes, the small balls. Okay. The color itself looks like the same color of a, like a mango. Mm -hmm. But texture and everything else, no say. Okay. So normally they cook this like the rice. Some people add some chicken and pequi. So pequi is this. This is Becky. Oh, huh. looks like a different version of kiwi. Mm, I think it's a little bit more dangerous. Dangerous? Very ghost? Yes. So Why the, is there danger in everything that y'all eat? Depend on the way that you eat pequi. The interior of the fruit, they have a type of spike and can really hurt your mouth if you eat in the wrong way. So th this is spike, mm -hmm. like sea urchin. Yeah, exactly. And this white is what? The seed? I think it's the seed. Why would you grow spikes as a fruit? Like, no, ask, ask God. So you've never had this before? No, don't I don't know how it tastes. Don't know. If it's I have not. no idea. Still, I would say it looks like kiwi. The spikes, I guess, looks like seeds in a kiwi. Mm. They come out from the center. That's why I get kiwi vibes. But very popular in the center of Brazil. Which mm -hmm. kiwi? Sim. The next one from São Paulo. Cuscuz Paulista. Cuscuz Paulista. <laughs> I will take something and run with it. This is how it looks like. <laughs> what the hell? From the same people that brought you the Brazilian hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like an amalgamation it's of just amalgamation. everything. Tomato, olives. Tomato. Is that fish? Fish. Oh no, come oh, on. Sardinha. Peppers <laughs> and everything in between. That you have in the fridge. I am open to trying a lot of things in this world. No. Mm -mm. And the flour mm -mm. that they use is like... Corn. Flour? There's flour in it's here? Like, it's corn flour. They, they use the humid... I hydrate the corn flour and add the stuff in the bottom. So they use a cake thing, put the, the corn flour already hydrated and flip and you have couscous polish. <laughs> this is scary. Who created it? Why? This is the same pan they use for pudding. It's true. The fact that pudding in this is created in the same pan in a household is scary. I don't care how hard much you wash it. I know this came out the same pan that made the pudding. I'm not eating the pudding. Or a cake. This looks like something out of a Dr. Seuss book, okay? Fun fact, Couscous Paulista, it was considering in the list, the end of the 2023, one of the worst food from Brazil. I agree, I concur. This makes the Brazilian hot dog looks delectable. Five star. Dog. I think that if they add the list of some batata palha on top, maybe it would be good. What? Maybe the crunch. You got to be kidding me. I Have never, I this? never tried. Okay, it's yeah. not my thing. No, 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 no. Mrs. 
Batata Polly on everything makes it better. We gonna get we gonna get Gabby this. We gonna put Batata Polly on it. I'm gonna watch you eat this. This delectable treat. It's, it doesn't it. look good for me. That looks good to Roxy and Roxy alone. But couscous Paulista. The next one, in fact, has a song, very famous song in Brazil. Eu vou tomar um tacacá, curtir, ficar de boa. Joelma. Calypso! No so the name of the dish is Takaka. You got to pass over what you just did? Like that was normal? Brazilians, you know the song. It's very popular. Takaka. This Takaka. One word. Camera? Mm hmm. Is this uh, Kobe? No. It's Jambu. What is Jambu? Well, Jambu. <laughs> Jambu. <laughs> It's a type of leaf very popular in the north of Brazil when you eat and put it in your mouth. It won't kill you, but it has the properties like a numb. It'll be like paralyzed. There's a big difference between paralyzed and numb. You feel, but it would be like... It's numb. 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 But that's fine. There's but some that, foods that's too. the leaf. And also they have goma de tapioca and tucupi it's also something from cassava it's more sour-ish so all of this together is the takaka is this more like a soup than yes. it is a, okay i mean I, I would try this it's not something that scares me especially anything with shrimp the jambu doesn't scare me either i mean you can get numbness from Experiment really. I mean, okay. I think that I would try too. Again, I never, I never tried takaka. How did the song come about then? The song is from a band. The name of the band is Calypso. Calypso is very popular in Brazil, but they started to sing in Belém do Pará, and Belém do Pará is the main city that they sell this dish takaka. Okay. Like as usual in this video, I always bring some desserts, okay? The first is pamonha. Pamonha. Pamonha, uh huh. Pamonha is a traditional Brazilian food. It is a boiled paste made from sweet corn, whisked in coconut milk. <laughs> Whisked. Typically served wrapped in corn husks. And this is how pamonha looks like. Sounds delicious, actually. I never had pamonha. I think I don't know if I like pamonha. Mom, mom likes pamonha. All right, it doesn't look like anything I've had, but the process is very sweet. Corn is a thing here that we, eat, but more like cream, straight corn with mm -hmm. creams mm -hmm. and make it sweet. However, whatever means it is. But this process sounds delicious. I would definitely try this. They sell in Rio and some place, especially in the north zone, mm -hmm. Madureira. Sometimes they had the type of car that go like the Camarão car. Pamonha, pamonha fresquinha. So they are selling this pamonha. Yet again, you've never tried this. Never, never tried. It's not my thing. That contradicts. I never tried, but it's not my thing. How do you know it's not your thing if you've never tried? It's, it's, it's true, it's true. Tell me guys, you like pamonha, you don't like pamonha? Or all these dishes that we are talking here, have you tried before? All this one, I never tried. It's wet, so it's gonna stick together, but if it were to be dry, it would have, and the consistency when you bite it, probably be the same as like, posoka. Mm -hmm. I dry, yeah, I dry, think so. Dry would be like this crumbly, but mm -hmm. it's good. Oh, Maybe definitely. it's a good combination, pasoca with, with pamonha. Because yeah, pamonha is a sobre mesa in itself. Pasoca too. In itself, you don't need to put, you, you up here trying to Captain Planet, the, the desserts. It's not necessary. We don't need to put them together. Pasoca, <laughs> cinnamon, tapioca, <laughs> pamonha. We are a Brazilian dessert. <laughs> you do whatever that you want to do. So that's it. And the last one is another dessert, cajuzinho. Cajuzinho. Mm -hmm. Cajuzinho. It's a small cashew. It's literally a candy coated cashew. But it, it, it doesn't have cashew in the dessert. So that is the point. What? It's just the shape that it look like a cashew. So this isn't a cashew. It's chocolate. And hey, what the <laughs> fuck? Get out of here. Why? It's chocolate <laughs> and peanut. That's it. I love cajuzinho. It sounds delicious. Chocolate and cajuzinho. peanut. You can't. So what's it coated in? Sugar? Sugar. Chocolate and peanut coated in sugar. If there's a MO, if I come in <laughs> and I see crumbs of chocolate and peanuts and sugar, I'm like, oh yes. Open a shit case, look like Gabby's been here. <laughs> yeah. 
definitely Gabby. <laughs> why make it shape? Like I a don't cashew? know. I don't know why people we start to create this candy in a shape like cashew. I really don't know the reason of that. If you know the history of the cashewzinho, please let me know. But cashewzinho is really good. I like it. I'm sure you chocolate and make. peanut. It's supposed to be Brazilian foods. This particularly Brazil. Yes, 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 the cashewzinho. <laughs> it's like in the 80s and the 90s for a kid's party, birthday party, the a trinity. It was brigadeiro, beijinho e cajuzinho. Again, Captain Planet. <laughs> <laughs> Bolo de coco, like the, the, the cake at the birthday party. It was amazing. They don't do that anymore. It's like the fancy Because kids candy. need to live. He yeah. had that much sugar. Kids that much sugar at I one point. I miss parties. It was amazing. So sad that it doesn't have like that anymore. Okay, so I introduced you my Brazilian dishes. What, what did you think about it? If I had to rank them. All five. Start at the bottom. That's the easiest. The uh, Kush Kush Paulista. That's the bottom. That's that's easy. It's below the bottom. <laughs> I will eat Shaquito for the rest of my life before I try that. Man, and that that level. Did you see it? I did. Did you see it? I need to know who you it are. It doesn't look good. If you willingly eat that, you will be my partner on the game shows where they must eat to the the horrible things like. Uh, bull testicles or something like that. <laughs> That's my interview process. Have you? Do you eat couscous paulista? Yes. So above that would be. Uh, I'm gonna go with the. Uh, takaka. Takaka. I think only takaka because it's something I don't know. It's leagues above the last place. All right, but it's it's just like I don't know it. it yeah, it has shrimp, but it's not even like the shrimp I like. So yeah. I, I I would try it, but fourth. Above that would be a horse con pecky. Pecky. Then the ca cajuzinho. And then top would be the amonia. So it would be your first one? Yes. Okay. Of course, dessert. It really should be two separate categories. If I had to put them on the same list, that's the way it would go. The only thing that's clear is that five is couscous paulista. I would try Monte Soba, willingly. Before couscous paulista? Yes. Because I may eat the couscous paulista and wish I had died. I may eat it and we, I'm like, oh my gosh, take me now. Monty Sobel, it just will kill you. It'll just take you, you know? Ain't no question. Before you have a time to think about it, I'm out. If I'm offending you, Paulistas, please let me know. But obviously can't be if it was voted on some list like it. It wasn't a list. Yeah, the, the worst. Y'all know. Y'all y'all created that. I really hope that you like this video, okay? We can be reacting with more Brazilian foods. And if you have any suggestions. Please! Please have suggestions right here in the comments. Leave them right there, all right? Get, get five good ones before the next one. Yeah, I thought maybe. that this list was really good. Very interesting, very different foods. Maybe. But like I said, if you like this video, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bell, and see you in the next video. Hopefully, if I don't die, <laughs> I'm Kush Kush Paulista. See you. Bye bye. 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 Kiss, kiss kiss. Beijo. Beijo, beijo. Still in my stuff.